Hi everybody, it's Susan Gerbick in her backyard. <laughs> Live from my backyard. <laughs> oh, it's so engaging, I know. Chronicling uh, the weather and the garden in um, California, Salinas, California. I have been cleaning up the garden the last two days and said, well, I should do a live video because it's kind of fun to um, read all your guys' comments and to see um, how my garden is changing over time. So this is October 13th, and yes, we still have tomatoes coming in. These are our uh, volunteers that have come in. Uh, there's some beets. Over here is a, oh, what is that? can't remember. Let's see. It's a zucchini squash that is still growing. Strawberries, look at the strawberries, guys. Here's some strawberries. I absolutely adore my strawberries. I eat so many strawberries and blackberries every day that I cannot, I have not been able to grow them fast enough. And besides, what happens is, as soon as I see one that's ripe, I just pick it off the vine and eat it. So I'm not getting very far with it. <laughs> I'm still buying it at the grocery store. We still have blackberries. Here's some that are red. Then there you can see there's some flowers still. So we're still getting blackberries. I have some lettuce over here. A um, couple of something there. Squash or zucchini or something. I'm not sure what that is. Anybody know what that is with the little black things on them? I don't know what that is. Dahlias. Here's a beautiful black dahlia that's getting ready to bloom. Oranges. Um, what is that? Oh, hydrangeas. I got a whole bunch of hydrangeas. And, of course, you have to keep them really wet. Um, I cut back my uh, pink jasmine, which was overtaking the whole wall. And I had taken it all down last year. And it's growing beautifully still. So I want to keep this to a manageable level. I absolutely adore jasmine. But um, it can take over. And same oranges here. Uh, some lobelia, another one of my favorite plants with... Um, hydrangeas again and I put this up outside of my bath bathroom my bedroom window and it's just a temporary thing to be able to put plants so I could see them and I went through yes you know keep it keep the succulents down oh look there's Imogen she's coming in to say hi and my trash cans isn't that exciting <laughs> fruit trees of course they're beyond bearing fruit but they still have leaves on them I'm gonna have to cut back all this we're taking my roof line grapevines I believe oh look there's Hamilton hey everybody say hi to Hamilton oh, which fine. so uh, potatoes are always a frustration because they keep going um, I have some tomatoes we just picked them yesterday but I think they're pretty much done now and over here it looks pretty sad and sorry but I do have some uh, pepper still and I have some cabbage and for the first year I am growing Brussels sprouts and I've never grown these before and had to look them up on how to how to do it, how to grow them. And Mark Edward has been here picking these things and eating them and he says they're delicious. So I've got a couple Brussels sprout plants and here's a cabbage. And the cat is coming over to say hello. Hello Imogen. Meow. So if I'm in the backyard they need to come and see what it is I'm doing. So I'm getting ready for Cycon and getting ready for winter. So here in Salinas, we don't have much of a winter, not like how I guess most of you guys and the rest of the world experience winter. We don't have snow, we'll have some rain, but it's not usually overwhelming. It's just kind of a nice rain, um, you know, rarely any flooding or anything like that. We don't have to worry about it. And yes, I'm in California and there's a problem with wildfires but not necessarily where I live because I'm really close to the ocean and yes we can have some pretty scary uh, fires because there are mountains nearby and we have as I'm in the in the cities inside the suburbs of Salinas so um, I will do a lot of uh, root planting you know onions peppers not peppers onions and uh, carrots and um, that kind of thing, uh, beets to grow through the winter season. But it looks like I might even be able to continue growing a lot of these other things. I mean, that Brussels sprout looks like it's doing really well. Peppers, I think, are here from years in the past. And ouch, the potatoes obviously have been growing for years. 
uh, tomatoes will go a little bit longer. My cat is biting me because she wants me to pet her. She's biting my arm because I'm not petting her. These cats are insane. What is it with cats? I think they're always insane. I still have um, California poppies. Look. It's October. And I got to figure out what I'm going to put in here in this this area. I'd like to have had some um, nice starters, something like a I don't know another tomato.